I'm here at NOAA with Harriet Smith, who is an education specialist here at NOAA, and she's going to tell us a little bit about this project that she has put together here at NOAA. Yep, so today we are hosting the second annual Youth Watershed Summit, and we've kind of combined it with our Earth Day Fair. Um, normally we have an Earth Day Fair, and this year they are two events. Um, the Youth Watershed Summit is part of the Our Rivers, Our Future program, which is a program that's funded by uh, NOAA's uh, Be Wet Great Lakes uh, grant. And a couple years ago, the sanctuary, um, along with uh, the Northeast Mich Michigan Great Lakes Stewardship Initiative, uh, the Northeast uh, Community Foundation, sorry, the Community Foundation for Northeast Michigan, um, applied for the NOAA Be Wet grant, and we successfully got it two years in a row. And this event is kind of the culmination of a year uh, of projects for students from across Northeast Michigan. Uh, they've been working on watershed related uh, projects in their area and this is the day where they get to display all of their findings for the past year. So where are the kids coming from? Um, are they coming from different schools from around the area? To Yep, so we have uh, two groups of students here today. Um, we have about 100 student presenters and they are coming from about 10 different schools in the area. We have students from Augre, Atlanta, and then uh, local schools from Alpena, a couple elementary schools and the high school. And all of the students who are presenting um, have come in a small delegation from their class and they are representing a year long's worth of projects. So they're here for the entire day um, working on their table displays. And then we also have students from the area who are coming as student observers. So they're here for two hours and they get to come and view all the displays, um, take a look around, see what's going on. So it's, it's a fun day so far. So, sounds like it. So how long does it usually take these students to get their projects together? Um, so the students, um, it's, it's a teacher-led project, but um, the students have a lot of say in um, the, the topic of the project. So at the beginning of the year, teachers who are participating in Be Wet um, ask their students what they'd like to do for the year and the majority of them have chosen uh, water quality testing and so that testing takes place in the fall and then again in the spring at their designated site and those sites are scattered um, across Northeast Michigan. Um, there's uh, sites here in Alpena, sites in Agre, Atlanta, um, all over the place and so those are two testing uh, phases during the year. Other students are working on uh, maritime heritage. So we have a group um, at the high school, the Shipwreck Alley course with John Capeless. They're studying shipwrecks. Um, so the projects really vary in um, type and uh, time frame. Okay, so the kids that actually get to do the projects, are they from a specific school or just all different schools? They're from all different schools. Um, so the students doing the projects today, we have students um, representing BWET projects from Ella White, um, Atlanta Middle School, Alcona Middle School, um, Augre, and then a couple other schools in the area, including the Alpena High School. So how do they get chose for this? Do they, their teachers choose them? Um, to come today? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the teachers uh, chose a delegation of students, um, either, it depended on the teacher, either they um, did a drawing or they asked the students which ones wanted to come, um, but it's a, a group of students that are here to represent their entire class and the work they've been doing all year. That's great. So do you have anything else you'd like to tell me about this? Um, no, nope, it's, it's um, an event where we're celebrating our watershed and it also fits into uh, NOAA's uh, greater celebration of Earth Day. Um, it's one of the many events that NOAA helps to put on to, to celebrate that holiday.